everyone. Welcome to Across America. I'm going to be host today. This is Robert, and with me is not Jack. Jack is not here for another episode. He is missing this one, but I have a special guest today, which is going to be very interesting. Uh, it is my mom, Jean Lamb, is here Woo! to talk <laughs> about my walk. This is going to be... Um, I don't think for for you it's your first podcast, so it's going to be like weird. I think, but for me it's going to be uh, embarrassing, probably because I'm going to you know. tell the truth. Well, yeah, but I mean, I've been telling the truth. <laughs> it's not like you're going to be like he never walked across the country. <laughs> that was a lie the whole time. No, I just don't want to. I don't know because you're my mom, so it's just supposed to be embarrassing. And I love you because you're my son. <sighs> yeah, that's. That's what I thought you would say. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to have you on because me and Jack have been talking about the walk the whole time. We're almost done. I'm in Florida right now. Uh, I think I left off where I just uh, left Tampa. But before I went any further, because Jack's going to rejoin me later, I wanted to do kind of a short episode with you and just talk about how you felt about the walk. Because I mentioned both you and dad – um, basically, uh, you were very sad and dad was very angry. So you're my baby. You're leaving. You can get killed on this trip. How did you think I was going to feel? But I could get, uh, killed walking to the market. Oh, I know. <laughs> or driving you can't, I get in a car accident. You can't tomorrow. compare that. You cannot compare that. This is, you're on the road. You're in places you've never been before. You're running into people that you have no idea who they are. Psychos are out there. I mean, <laughs> it just was very, very scary. I got more gray hair on this. Since you took this trip, I am totally gray. I don't think that's true. <laughs> but you, you dye your hair, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> so that's, that's part of it. So maybe I can't why. lie either. No, so. <laughs> but but when I first told you I wanted to walk across the country, I think you were just like, okay, like no, but no, you didn't really believe no. it at first. No, I was, first okay. I, I was not okay. I was not okay. I didn't want you to go. But the thing is, you said if you don't support me, I'm going anyway. Yeah. So I, I regardless. so. I had no choice if I still wanted to continue with my son to help you and something that you truly, truly wanted to do since you were a little kid. You always talked about walking across the United States, not only straight across. You wanted to go diagonal. You have to be different. And so you went the furthest, most northwest yeah, to the I most southern, <laughs> eastern. They know. They know. I know. You're crazy, man. And so, yeah, I I had nightmares. You know, when you were up in Washington, I didn't hear from you from three days. And that's because now that I know there was no towers and all I pictured and I would dream that you got attacked by a bear. I mean, it was terrible. I would. My I, mom always thinks of the worst things. No, yeah, I don't. That's like, a, that's like a meme on Facebook is like whenever you don't answer your mom right away, she thinks you're laying in a ditch like car overturned on fire but that's not but you also were kind of okay with it because i mentioned that i was going to be going with two friends of mine yes so that, that helped. made you feel a little bit safer but then yes. but then when i told you about montana and then me and tony split up um in the indian kind of reservation like, also that they said that they hated white people that wasn't it that's well, yeah. I'm just saying, they told you not to take that route, and what do you do? I didn't well, take it was that the route. shortest distance, so you took that route and went on that highway no. right next south. to the reservation. I went south. I didn't go that way. The lady who was walking across the country, who I was a day behind, she went towards Chicago, but I went south towards uh, or into Wyoming. So I'm just saying that, yes, there, a lot of bad things could have happened, but. Nothing did. I know you were worried, though. And I still tried to keep in contact throughout. When I you could. could. That's right. right. But, but then when I didn't hear sp- from you, then what am I supposed to believe? What happened? I'm walking through the desert. There's no uh, there's, there's no signal. So you just got to. So grin and bear it? <laughs> yeah. No. Just wait. Nightmares galore. Nah, just wait. And I tried, like I said, whenever I 
you know, stayed with somebody or went like where I had signal, I did contact you or at least text you if I could. But like throughout, like you sent me care packages too. Like, oh yeah, to different places and stuff. Like different people. Well, wasn't boxes. that nice? Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Yeah. Beef because, jerky and stuff. Yeah, everything that you needed. Just sent it to the local post office. As a matter of fact, one lady even opened up on a Sunday for you because she the package was there. No. No. She said she'd meet you there. Who? I can't remember who it was. I don't remember that. Some small rinky dink town that I sent it to, and she opened up the post office on Sunday. You were there Saturday. The package wasn't there. And um, anyway, it arrived late, and you picked it up on a Sunday. I remember that. Maybe. I don't remember everything on the trip. I took notes, but I've been trying to talk about all the stuff that happened on this podcast. We got like 40 something. This is episode 48. Jack's been on pretty much all of them except for one he missed. But we've had some people on ask questions and we've taken some questions. But then most of the time, I'm just talking about the walk and going through. I think I probably have about two episodes left, which will make it 50 episodes total. Did you talk about the moose? Did you talk about the wolves? Did you talk about... First off, hold on, hold on. There was no moose and there was no wolves. Coyotes. There's coyotes. They're not okay. the same as wolves. Well, I know, but I thought you... Wolves are dangerous. Coyotes aren't that dangerous. Okay. There's coyotes in Wyoming, and it wasn't a moose. I don't know what it was. It could have been a horse. It could have been a... I think, we... I think it was a horse. Snorting but... outside your tent is still yeah. a scary thing. He was probably trying to get your food in your cart, but still... No, I didn't have the cart at that point. But, I mean, even in the tent. But we had the bear bags that you put the food in any open food and stuff but that was when i was with tony when i was by myself yeah there's a lot of scary noises at night that just uh you just have to deal with hope that they don't try to get in your tent and how about the police with the train yeah i already talked about that okay, we, we talk, <laughs> i don't want to like recap everything no, but yeah the but train it's... i already mentioned the train you I call mentioned waking up at two in the morning because the cops kicked me out and I had some run-ins with police, and I mentioned all that stuff, but I would, I just wanted to get your take. I mean, obviously, you were worried the whole time. Yeah, you but... hear, oh, ma, police woke me up last night, and I'm going, what? Yeah, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I mean, they weren't nice, but most, most of the cops that I ran into were, they were okay. One and brought then, you a um, tent. Yeah. I mentioned him, and... A lot of people who uh, helped him bring bring water and food and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, you were shipping me. I mean, you shipped me new shoes in uh, Missouri. And that's when I switched out my shoes because I wore the same pair until Missouri. And then you also bought me a new tent because the other one, I forget why you bought me a new tent. Because it was in Missouri. I remember you sent me the shoes and then it was that pop-up tent. And mm-hmm. I had to learn how to... Fold it. <laughs> Fold it, which was a pain in the ass. Yeah, but it compacted really nice, didn't it? Into a very small. Yeah, but it was still, it was like really hard. You had to like fold it four times and then like spin it. And I don't know. Yes. I remember having some difficulties because I, the first time I got it, I think I was in a motel room and I was trying to set it up. And I think I called you and we Skyped or something and you were trying to show me. Yeah, that was another thing. That whole reason I got this phone is so we can Skype. And yes, I told you you look terrible. Yeah, keep going. I told you you look terrible because you were losing so much weight from this walk. You look terrible and you said, I didn't lose if I weight. tell you that you look terrible one more time, we're not allowed to Skype. Yeah, but I just because <laughs> just I had a beard and my face was all red and stuff, I didn't lose any weight. I stayed about the same. I ate junk food, though. That's you why. look like crap. No, nah, I ate junk food a lot. Yeah, I'm walking 30 miles a day. Yeah, well. And how do your legs but... feel now? You get cramps all the time, <laughs> don't you? Don't yeah, your I legs? Do. Yeah. I know. So That's why I don't know. People ask me at work all the time. They're like, uh, you ever going to do it again? And I was like, I would like to, but my legs, I don't know if I'd be able to. No, you I, ruined I your legs. Think... You ruined your feet and your legs. Nah, I don't think I that's fine. I, I just heard... can't go jogging as much as I used to. I mean, I can't jog for as far as I used to. I used to be able to do almost like four or five miles. Like when I went jogging, now I can barely do two. 
That's probably just because old my, age. <laughs> it might be old age. You hit thirty, buddy. Nah, <laughs> I think because my legs like tighten up a lot, and I I get shooting pains in my legs every once in a while, which are probably like the nerve endings. Sciatic nerve. Nah, it's not the sciatic, but it's like it's just weird. And I'm always worried I'm gonna like do that thing where uh, you wear out your knees, wear out the uh, <gasps> don't. What's it called? It's like in the knee. Whatever the I muscle, know what you're yeah. About. But I, I'm always worried I'm gonna like mess that up. So like I'm, I'm like, should I really be jogging more? Because <laughs> I already no. put a lot of strain on my legs. But oh well. Well, last time you told me you were going to bicycle from Maine and go down to California. Like Don't you dare leave again. That would be less. Ugh. That would take less no. than two months. No, no, no. That no. would though. Oh, I don't care. And I can't the, take and, it. My heart can't take and, it. And and I could probably hit like a campground like every night. It's the guys that I met who are biking across the country were doing uh they said they were up to like almost eighty miles a day. I was doing thirty miles on foot, so yeah, you could probably double that on a bike, if not triple it. Please, please, son, please. I'm not going to. I'll wait till you and dad have uh <laughs> dropped dead <laughs> passed away before Thanks I do lot. something else. You'll be too old then. Nah. Be married and have kids and your wife won't let you go. Not necessarily. I'll make not sure I stay, I... not if I stay single. I'm going to put it in my will. You don't get uh, anything from me unless you promise not to. Yeah, but once I get it, that's it. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I'll I don't think they can. I'll give you X amount every two, three years, and so you don't have enough money to go. (laughs) Nah. I'm not going to do it just because. Your legs are already But I do. do, Yeah, but I miss it sometimes. It's cool. Go jog around the park. That's not the same. I like seeing things. I like doing stuff that's different. You only live once, Mom. I mean, well, you heard that. Did you, tell them, did you tell them where you're going? You'll be seeing a lot of things. Well, I thought we were. I was nah. going to say. Yeah, okay. We won't tell. No. You know, we're going on a trip, so. Nice uh, vacation. Uh, yeah. Out of the country. Yeah. I'll say that. But, yeah. I like to see things. I like to travel. So well, that's I do, too. The best that's kind of traveling. Going. Yeah, but I got to see it real slow. Yeah. When I got to, well, uh, that's also what I want to talk about, because this is going to be a shorter episode, but I wanted to talk about when I got back to Florida, and I think I talked about this in an earlier episode, was I just got into Florida, and my friend Amanda drove up uh, to come get me, because we were going to go to Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights, and I was like, yeah, if you come get me, like I'll pay for your gas, Um and then I'll see if my mom can take me back up or whatever. So that way, you know, because I didn't want to cheat. So wherever I got picked up, I had to be dropped off. And, yeah, she went. She came, picked me up. But I didn't tell you that she was coming to pick me up. And then she drove me over here, but you weren't here yet. And then I think I text you or something to see where you were. And you said something like, oh, I'm not at the house yet. And I was like, oh, well, I need you to upload some photos for me. Yeah, it didn't even tell me you were in town. Right. So then you... Got home and then I came out. Oh, I was then... so excited! I couldn't yeah. believe it. My baby's home. So, but even though I was home, I still had to finish walking through Florida. So you helped me and you drove up and we, Went you to kind of line. took off like a few days off of work and we just, you helped drive me back up to, I forget what the small town was, but where I stayed the night night uh, prior, and then we drove back and forth. And I walked. You he know, walked, and I miles, went. And you went to different places yeah. while I walked. But then you had to go back to work. And then I walked through Tampa, met some friends and stuff like that. Finally talked to dad a little bit. And then uh, after that, you helped me a little bit after Tampa, like probably like like Ruskin, like right below Tampa. Yeah, I think it was a little bit south because then I think you, me, and then. Your friend Jane, like, we all went out to eat at Sonny's. And then that's when you were like, all right, well, I can't keep following you because I got to get back to work. And I was like, yeah, I know. But it was nice not having my cart with me because I could just carry a backpack with water rather than carrying all my stuff. Um, But But I met you at... Okeechobee River. I mean, no, Okeechobee didn't. Lake. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. followed you all the way down from no. there because I took another week off. Not Okeechobee. That was outside of Miami. You were not at Okeechobee because I walked through there. I remember having my car. It was past that. Yeah, that's and true. And then I also that's stayed true. at. I'm sorry. I yeah. stayed at Fish Eating Creek, which I wasn't going to talk about all this, but I stopped there. And then you came back uh, when I walked through the Keys, which was right above 
the Keys. It was like near Miami because you thought about going through, um, or you thought about seeing like High Lie and 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 right. some places in Miami while I walked. But yeah, so when I left Tampa though, that was like the last time, and it kind of felt weird because I slept in my own bed here, right. but then had to get back on the road to finish up, and I probably still had. I know the Keys are about 160 miles. I think is when I looked it up and then and then another um I don't even know how many miles from Tampa to the Keys. So I knew I was gonna have about another week of walking before you came and visited yeah. in the Keys and stuff and and I didn't even know how long you were gonna stay, but I'll talk about that on the next episode. But what do you think like when I left after Tampa? I mean, I were cried. you happy? What did you? Like, no, I cried. but were you? But were you, no, no, I, I wanted. Real. I wanted you. For real. I wanted you to quit. I said, "Why don't you quit? You're already here in Florida." And you said, "You made it this far. I'm not quitting now." And it was. It yeah, was. Why would I stop there? Well, I figured you're especially late. like Key West is not that far. No, I walk from Washington all the way to Tampa. You don't think I'm going to go a little bit further? Well, I was hoping that maybe you'd stay. No. Nah. Hey. That was why I didn't want to really stay at the house, though, was because I didn't want to get comfortable and not want to get up and start walking know. again. You yeah. poor thing. I felt so bad. I, I felt don't know why so you bad. felt bad. I liked it. Oh, Do I you, just... <laughs> before we wrap up, <laughs> I remember you said, how did you word it? You said that you used to sit up at night or like, at least, like, just you would be sitting there at night, like, before you went to bed, and you would think, what did you do wrong to make to me make feel you... like I had to walk across That's the right. Country? Why? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, my God. It's not like... I, what did I like... do? What did I do to make him possess this that he had no. to... I can't, I'm trying to think of the it's, actual word that I that I need. It's that not so like bizarre. it's not like you were a raging alcoholic, and that's why I kept getting arrested when I was 16 and getting in trouble at school. Like it wasn't like that kind of thing. It was just no. I wanted to walk across the country. It wasn't like I went through some kind of child abuse or neglect or anything like that. I, I thought maybe the divorce. It. I thought maybe the divorce. <laughs> why, why would that happen? You know, you it know, happened. You, you it as, happened. Go ahead. Seven years ago and more than that. I know, but still you wonder what like went wrong that would ago. make you want to do something that this so far out left. So far out left. I mean, I I don't I don't know. Yeah, but I just... people do that stuff. I'm not the only one who's walked across the country. And people have walked across other countries. Doesn't mean they had a bad upbringing. Well, I'm just saying nothing you did or nothing dad did had anything to do or anything my friends did. Anything to do with the reason why I walked across the country. I just want to do something different because you only get one life. And I want to do something. It's like a good talking point. Look, I wouldn't have this podcast if I couldn't couldn't do it. Yeah, but most people do something very bizarre for maybe a week or even two or even a month. You Not were good. gone six months, three weeks. Isn't that what it was? Yeah, but people hiked the Appalachian Trail and all that kind well, of I stuff, too. Well, I wanted you to do that, too. Now, yeah, that but the Appalachian, okay. the Appalachian's almost as long as what I did. It goes from Georgia all the way up to Maine. It's like 3,000 miles. But but they have stops all along the way. They have these yeah, little Yeah, but honestly, food. it would probably be harder to do that and more physically challenging than what I did. I had a cart, which you cannot take a cart through the Appalachian Trail. No, but you had a store that you can buy things. But I had so a store. Many... I had a store, too. After, after Nebraska, when I started getting like to like... Tennessee, I would say Kentucky, or I would say even Missouri. After Nebraska, and I hit Missouri. From Missouri all the way to Florida, I hit a McDonald's or Subway every day. Yeah, and when you started, all I hear is you went from cornfield to cornfield yeah, to cornfield. Yeah, Nebraska, there were no, some spots. No. But I still had, I had the cart, and I could carry uh, six gallons of water and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and, and nowhere to to eat or stop and get something or even to rest. And I never had an issue where I thought, Oh no, I'm gonna run out of food. The only time is maybe when me and Tony were walking through the mountains and we thought there was another store, which I don't remember if I mentioned this, but we were walking through the North Cascades and we had food and water already, but we were like, Oh, if we hit this there's a store coming up, if we hit this store we'll be able to replenish our stuff there and then get through the rest of the mountains. But when we got to that place, the store was closed. For the season. And, and it was the seasonal thing. Yeah. So we we're like, Great. So we we're like, can we make it through? And we we're like, yeah, we have enough food for like 
four or five days and that's how long it was going to take to get through there so we're like i think we could do it as long as we don't get stuck and then when it snowed we're like oh this is going to be trouble. yeah with no winter coat but, no gloves no boots nothing they had their socks on their hands they were still, so cold i mean still made come it. on yeah you did but you sure worried your mother i'm telling you you didn't even know because i didn't have signal then no i know i'm just saying eh, it's it's over now, but sometimes I think back and I am surprised that I did it. I think back and think how nuts you are. Nah. <laughs> you're crazy. Nah. You're crazy and you're my son. What did I do? What did I you're do? You're going with me as I go shark cage diving. Well, but that's because I wanted you to do something and you said you would do the trip I wanted if I went swimming with the sharks. So well, that's you don't why. have to go, but I wanted to oh, go. Oh, no. I already paid. We're no, but I meant, I meant, yeah, but you don't ha- well, you don't know if you're going to get in a cage, but... No, I paid for it. I'm getting in that Oh, you paid for it yourself? Cage. Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't know you paid for two. I paid for two. Okay. Yeah. Well, then we go well, shark I... cage diving with... Uh, <laughs> but they're great white sharks, so that'll be fun. Can I give you an idea of where we're going? <laughs> yeah, it could be a couple places. <laughs> but uh, but that's all I'm saying is I like to do different stuff, and those things are a little bit thrilling for me. I've been skydiving, and... I'm That's another now. nutty thing. Nah, people you go have skydiving a death all the wish? time. They go skydiving all the time. Yeah, but you don't. It's not like you were trained. Yeah, but I didn't go by myself. I went tandem. Anyways, yeah. um, anything else you want to say about crazy. the walk before uh, we wrap it up? Um, no, um, just well, yes, okay. I hope you never. <laughs> I hope you never. Do it again. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you experienced this was something of a lifetime. I understand it. Um, I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you are safe. I did worry uh, all the time. The whole trip, I worried. I don't care where you were. Even if you were in Tampa, I worried. And (laughs) Actually, Tampa was one of the cities that like i didn't think it was gonna be that bad and walking through it not the best city <laughs> not the downtown area when i walked through that i was like oh this place is a lot crazier than i and i drive through there all the time yeah see so i'm glad it's over and and i do want you to do new endeavors i mean that's fine just not as crazy as that of course swimming with the sharks is just as crazy i guess except it's only for a day or two so, um, yeah, I don't think I would swim with sharks for six months. No, <laughs> please, Just please. Saying. But no. you want to go to that, uh, the island, yeah? But that's not crazy. The crazy thing, I do want to, I'll tell you one that I want to do that I don't think I've told you. Um, Galap- no, I do want to go to Galapagos, but that's not that's not crazy. Uh, crazy thing I do want to do is I want to go, um, Oh, are you going to tell your mother? No, no. Hold on, hold on. no, bungee jumping off of the dam. <laughs> At uh, in um, Switzerland, the that's the exact same dam that uh, Pierce Brosnan or his stunt double jumped off of in Goldeneye. And there's a guy who wrote a book. He was like an app creator, so he created apps for like phones, like games and stuff. And he said when he got enough money, he went because he liked uh, James Bond and stuff, and he like went and jumped off of. Uh... Do you know how many of those break? Do you know how many of those break? <sighs> Right yeah. down, right down here in uh, Treasure Island, one broke. You know how many car accidents there are a day. I know, know but you have are. to drive a car. You don't have to jump off a bridge. Yeah, but I'm saying that jumping off, like I'd like to see what the percentage is of how many people have died while bungee jumping, percentage wise, compared to people who have died while driving cars or or planes or whatever. Well, planes, it, believe it or not, planes is not that bad. Compared no, I know to, that. I'm just saying that, yeah, but bungee jumping is like the thrill of just like jumping off and then like. So where did you come from? You couldn't, you can't be my child, though I'm adventurous, but I don't have a death wish. I think that's you have not a death, a death wish. wish. Yes, it is. I'm jump. I'm bungee jumping with a bungee cord. It's like the thrill of it. Well, I don't know. When I'm dead, go when I'm dead, please. Yeah, I'll do all of it when you're dead. <laughs> All the fun stuff. <laughs> Until then, I won't do anything fun. Oh, come on. Your whole <laughs> life was fun. We had kidding. season right, tickets right. to everything. Come on. I did a lot with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And your friends. I took all your friends with me, too. I know. We all appreciate it. You do. Um, <laughs> I know. And that's why I did it. I know. I know. I, know. I mean, who, who, would, who in their right mind would take eight kids to, to Universal? I mean. I mean, that's what chaperones are for. 
And that's what I was. I know. Anyways, I appreciate it. I appreciate you sending me gifts along the way, like beef jerky and shoes and trail mix and all the other stuff. And and then also driving with me through Florida, like, and picking me up, driving me to where I start walking and then picking me up to where I end and then doing that again a few times, like, in North Florida and then again in South Florida. But I'll talk more about that on the next episode when Jack returns and uh, yeah, we're almost done with this series. So invite your mother back. Off. Invite your mother back. Uh, I think one and done is pretty. Oh, <laughs> that hurts my feelings. Just I'm stick just the knife kidding. in and turn it. I'm just kidding. Oh no, but you'll have to listen to all the episodes. Well, I, I don't know if you want to listen to all of them. I I'm still trying to get through paralyzed. Yeah, but I'm I, I, yeah, but this is this is just me and Jack like riffing a bunch and then talking about my walk. And back and forth. Well, you know I'm going to listen. I listen to every podcast you make. Yes, but you do not like cursing. No. And, and I all don't know. my podcasts have cursing. Uh, oh, hold on, people. Go. People, uh, listen. No, stop. He's not getting the cursing from me because I do not curse. So I don't know where he gets it from. It has to be from his friends. Because I hang out with a very bad that, crowd. <laughs> that is terrible. And you all out there, I don't care what you say or what you think. You should not curse. There is no Why? need. There is no reason to curse. You do not need to curse. I'm sorry. They're, they're, yes. They're sentence enhancers. No. Yes. No. SpongeBob taught me that. <laughs> the sentence enhancers. They make the sentence, uh, you know. You can get your point across without swearing, believe me. Yeah, but sometimes just dropping an F-bomb is just, like, so satisfying. Oh, you're killing me. You're just Anyways. killing me now. Don't worry, you'll be bunging, jumping next week because I'll be dead tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, all right, well, just don't listen to this series. There's oh, I'm going to listen to everything you do. So. Okay, well, you're going to be very fond of me and Jack. Anyways, well, I'll tell Jack what I think this, too. As well, end with <laughs> you. Fine. I tell you too. I know, I know. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for this episode of Across America. Um, thanks for joining me, Mom. <laughs> Till next time, maybe you'll join again. Uh, if you guys uh, want to check out our, our other podcasts, you can go to sevenlamb.com. That's the number seven L A M B dot com. And if you want to help donate, you can go to patreon.com slash seven lamb. The number seven again. LAMB. You can donate as little as a dollar a month and it all goes to helping us create content such as this one. We only have a couple episodes left of this uh, so look forward to that I guess and Jack will be back so that'll be cool and we'll wrap up uh, this whole series. And any females out there he's right. 32 years old and single and, but you have it. to have a have crazy a personality good... just like him. A death wish. Sorry. And that's it. Take it easy, everyone. Bye. Love y'all. has been a Seven Lamb production.